Okay, welcome back. Alex from Idea Spot here. We are continuing on our fashion website series. Now, we are working on this site called Style Soul, and I have just installed the starter site with Astra, and we are using Elementor to edit. Um, so, the first thing we want to do is get some images for our website. So, I love to use uh, pexels.com to get stock images. We, we're working with a fashion website here, so we can just type something in like like shoes and we'll get loads of uh, interesting photos that we could use, perhaps some women's shoes to put on our website. Now, I have already gone ahead and downloaded a few stock images that we can use. Um, all we have to do is upload them to our media library and I will show you how to do that in a second. So let's go back to our homepage. Now, all WordPress sites are made up of these sections. So this little blue tab shows us the first section and then we can scroll down and there are sections in all the following areas. And they can be, we can delete them as we like I'll hit undo. We can add new ones anywhere we like. And we can edit them by clicking the middle section. So let's click the middle of this top heading. And now we can edit the section. That's our sidebar. We can choose the layout, the style, or some advanced options there. But let's look at the style. And that shows us our background image. So let's delete initial image and let's upload our new images. So here we go. Those are our stock images. Let's highlight all of them. And here we go. They are uploading. So that'll take a minute or two. And we are going to choose something to put on our header. I think I like this little nice picture of these women's shoes wearing the jeans. It'll be easy to put text over the top of that. I look pretty decent, I think. Um, I've got a few models, a few pictures of wardrobes and some other shoes there, but let's, let's try this one. Okay, so that's how we change our background image. The text is really easy to change. All you do is click on the text and you can edit that live on the page. So let's just call that style. So um, we could send this link button somewhere. We could just link it to a video. I don't really want the video. I'm just going to delete that bit. Let's just have create your style soul. And so that's our first section. Now I'm going to show you three ways that you can add sections to your page. Now, the first and the easiest way is to just copy a section that already exists. So let's say we like uh, this bottom section. Uh, with the background image and the white text and the button there. Um, if we wanted to copy it, all you do is hover over the tab and right click and hit copy. Now we can put this anywhere we like now. So let's say we want something similar in here. Let's add a new section and right click and paste. And there we go. There's a new section. We can go ahead and edit this however we like. Let's remove that little menu and we could call this consultations are free. Um, anything you like here. And then you can put a bit of a description there and link your button somewhere. So let's say we wanted to link the button to our contact page. Let's go to our contact page, grab our link and we can go back and put the link. Just click on that button. And there's our link in the content tab of the sidebar. And just paste it in there and hit update. So now our link, when we click it, it will take us to the contact page. So let's have a look at that. Let's go to our home page. click there. Let's get started. That'll take us to our contact page. So that is how you link your pages together. 
besides using that header menu, I'll show you how to do the header menu in a later video, but let's go back to Elementor and keep editing. So the first way we can edit these sections is like I said, copy them and then start customizing them. Click on edit section, go to the style. Again, we just change the background to whatever we want to change it to. And there we go. Let's go for these shoes and there we go. Um, this section is a little bit different because you've got that white text. It needs a dark background and they've managed to darken the image by using a background overlay. So let's click background overlay. And this opacity is what helps us make it lighter or darker. So you can make it darker to get really good contrast on the text, or you can make it lighter to get a bit more of that image coming through. It's up to you to get the style how you like. We've used a black background. You can use another color, like if you wanted to have a, a blue tinge, any color you like. I think black is the right way to design uh, in this situation. So let's leave it black and leave this opacity at, at 0.6 and hit update. And again, we can change that text to however we want to do it. Now that is the first way of adding a section. Just copy something you like and then customize it so it is suitable for that purpose. Now, the second way, let's add a new section here. You can easily make a section just by dragging elements in. So let's click this button here. This is your elements button and it'll show you all your all the free elements that we get in the free version. So um, you can drag them in and we can click this plus button. We can choose our structure. So if we want one column or two columns or three, I always like to just use one or two because it just keeps things simpler, especially if we're designing for mobile devices and tablets. You don't want to have too many columns. It gets a bit messy. So let's try two. And now we've got our two columns here and here we can click the elements and let's drag an image into this one. We can choose one out of our media library that we just uploaded. Let's put this lady here and we can click the elements again. Let's put a heading over here. And this heading can be anything we want. I'd like the heading to be centered. So let's hit alignment center. And then let's, let's put some, let's put some just regular text under the, so you can just drag them and drop them wherever you like. And the only thing I don't like here is I'd like this heading and text to be in the middle of the column. So let's click the column and our layout. And I'd like our vertical alignment to be in the middle. So there we go. Now I like that. So now all we can drag this and decide, you know, if you wanted a smaller image with more text on that column, or we'd like a little bit like that. I don't mind like this perhaps. And the only other thing I might do here is give us a little bit more white space below. There's a few ways to do it. We could go here and put a spacer in. That's one way. The other way we could add white spaces to click edit the section and go to advanced. And then let's add some bottom margin. We could put 50 pixels there. That's another way to do it. That links together. We could unlink those numbers by unlinking them. And we don't want the top one. We just want the bottom. That's another way to do it. Um, we can hit update. And the other thing we can do is change our background like we did before. Hit edit section and style. We don't have any background here. It's just white. We could click a classic background and let's just pick a color. Rather than having an image, let's have a nice color. So double click that. We could have a dark gray. We could, here we go. I'd like something a little bit more relaxed. Let's have a, a light sort of a light purple, very light. There we go. I don't mind that. The text doesn't really work, but let's make the text black. Let's click uh, style, text color, and let's make it black. There we go. 
I think this text could be black as well, really, couldn't it? Let's hit style and text color can be black. There we go. Let's hit update. Now, it's not that amazing, but you get the idea. Um, just dragging elements in, you can create a nice section. Now, another one, probably my favorite way of creating a section is let's hit add new and here we can use templates. Now, Elementor comes with some pre-designed templates. So super easy way to add something that looks good already. Just hit blocks. And I think for this example, there's a few categories to choose from of pre-made, pre-designed templates. Let's look at portfolio. Um, I like this, check out our work. Let's insert. It'll take a minute to insert that because it adds a couple new images to your website. Um, but the nice thing about this is all the font is um, already matching our theme. So it saves us some design work. And let's click this picture and delete. And let's add an image in. And same here. Let's get a nice image. There we go. Now. These are two different sizes. So I've got a landscape here and a portrait there. It doesn't really work. We could we could go into a software and, and crop it maybe, or the other way we could do is just, let's just choose something that's already a landscape. So this one is already a landscape and let's use that. There we go. Um, and then we just have to change these descriptions to whatever we like. We could call it outer, outerwear. And wardrobe design, maybe. Anyway, this is, you get the idea. So pre-designed template, you can just drop those straight in. You can build your own sections from using the elements. And a really nice way is just copying something and then customizing it because everything fits the original design because you're you're just copying and customizing and that is a really productive way of doing things as well so um, look if this has been helpful just make sure you click the like button and, and click the subscribe because i'm going to be coming back with more help on how to customize this website but really these three skills um, in terms of the front end visual design is all you really need uh, to start working on the visual aspect of your site um, anything you like, just hit update. I'm going to come back with our next video where I think I will look at editing our header and our menu and our footer down here. So again, remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to be back real soon with another video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.